videos, then I'll be showing you how to survive in Minecraft. Let's go in single player. And then go to create new world, survival, and leave it default. Allow sheets on just in case. As you know, we'll leave it off and bonus chest leave off. So survive. And we'll leave it YouTube survival. And we'll build and terrain. Do this. So I bet we're gonna spawn on them. Because you're gonna need to find a flat open space. And then you're going to need to find a space where there's trees next to it. Now for me it's perfect because you've got stone, stone rather, that space we're building. I just carry on getting these blocks of wood, or as Minecraft people call them, logs. Well, that's good. That, that area of my inventory is a sapling. Perfect. Now I just need to get this sapling and plant it down. Yeah. <gasps> Why is sheep critical? So first of all we're going to need to craft some right I might need to get some more wood. Craft this into a workbench and get some sticks. You're going to need sticks for this workbench down here. And then in this craft recipe, for now we'll just need a sword just to kill these sheep. Just whack them with the wooden sword. Need three. Three bits of wood. Oh, we got some mutton. So we've already got some food. Right, there's the last sheep. Now we need this sheep so we can make a bed. Really good start here. Can't believe we're actually getting this far. Oh, God. Zombie. I'm not actually meant to do that yet. But we can. Some other tools that we might need. That we are going to need. Three more. Axe, shovel, pickaxe. Uh, add some sticks. And a hut. That is your basic um, stuff. And then need three more of these. Uh, 
make a bed. Now we're just going to need all we're going to need for now. The bed, the saplings and the wood. Maybe a sword and a pickaxe and an axe. That's all we're going to need for now. So use the axe and hit this workbench so it pops out. Now we're going to need to plant some more saplings. It might seem like a bit of a ridiculous idea just because the abundance of trees, but once you've been playing this, this game for a long time, um, things will start to get short. Especially on the ground. I might see here, this bit of my health bar is going down. That's because that's the eating bar. Save the mutton till later. But we need apple. Just eat an apple and that will be fine for now. Now I need to start building our home. It's about how um, high our home is going to be, and we need it to be long as well. About that long. No. And get rid of these wood planks because we don't need these because they're only a two block high. One. And now just you know I didn't need to place it there. Place off this last bit. I need to get some more wood. So I'll just get some oak wood. One tree should do. And just get one small tree of birch. But do need birch for something else as well. Now, craft these to planks, but leave these as they are. We need to make a door. I need to put the door there. Now we're going to need to take our pickaxe and walk over here. Well, by the way, it's a good thing. Kill some spiders. And that'll...
want some stone. Sun is setting. Just put that above there. Right, we need this cobblestone. If my calculations are correct, I should leave that for free. And that is how you get a furnace. And the furnace is one of your main tools. I'm going to need to smelt this birch wood with some planks. And what it creates, just put one in there. And one piece of coal can smelt eight items. So it should be able to cook my mutton as well. One stick in there for emergency fuel. Sorry, I screwed up then. And there you get experience points from cooking. I'm gonna sleep. Let's have breakfast. Ah. Now it's how you survive your first night. Be sure to rate, do a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.